Hello and welcome back to Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel and hi, I am here with a quick revision of your entire PU1, PU2 syllabus and I will not waste too much time. Uh, the entire PDF will be available in our WhatsApp channel. So do uh, join our WhatsApp channel. The link of the uh, WhatsApp channel is given in our description. So if you have not yet joined our WhatsApp channel, do join the WhatsApp channel where you will get the entire PDF. It is a very long PDF. So I will not be discussing the entire PDF I will just uh, go through it uh, 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 one by one uh, here we have all the chapters uh, noted okay and obviously you will get uh, uh, the important concepts from all the chapters uh, uh, in a uh, sequential order right uh, you have 1 2 3 4 up to 14 chapters in your uh, class 11th similarly 14 chapter in your class 12th so everything is given in that order only so first of all uh, units and measurement for example you have uh, the significant figure rules how to apply that okay so you can scroll it down and uh, you can find whatever uh, questions you are answering suppose you are answering one question from some chapter say uh, uh, um, units and measurement and you are uh, finding it difficult to answer what is the significant figure rule then you can check all these uh, rules that is there in the pdf so for example you have common rules for significant figures as well as rounding off so everything is there in this pdf uh, uh, rounding of significant figures okay uh, uh, SI units etc then motion in a straight line I have not discussed anything which is too above of your head so uh, for example uh, the dimension analysis the dimension analysis can be case basis so you cannot have a generalization of that uh, uh, concept so I have not given any uh, detail about the uh, dimension analysis motion in a straight line obviously uh, the common formulas for example uh, all the important formulas for instantaneous velocity, instantaneous speed, acceleration, average velocity, everything is in one place. Graphs also, okay, what is the uh, graph for XT graph? What information you can get from an XT graph? What information you can get from a uh, velocity time graph or a speed time graph? So everything is given for your reference. What information you get from acceleration time graph? Okay, uh, this is a general representation of the graph. Okay, there are few important cases for graph. So XT graph for different different cases acceleration positive acceleration negative acceleration zero so this is also provided in this pdf okay so everything is there the common equation of motion okay for nth time interval what will be the displacement so that is also given in this pdf right now what else you have motion in a plane all the motion vector multiplication cross product dot product then we have uh, few cases as well uh, for parallel vectors dot product is zero for per uh, perpendicular vector uh, dot product is zero for parallel vector cross product is zero so uh, next we have um, vector addition as well the common formula for vector addition so um, some students struggle to find this uh, angle the, this formula is easy but many students actually find it difficult to remember it so the trick is that it is tan alpha and it is sine by cos okay now which sine which cos sine and cos with respect to the opposite vector so if you are finding the angle with respect to vector a then b sine theta by b cos theta and a will come as addition in the division part that's it okay so if you remember this this will be very helpful i have seen some questions based on this formula as well in the comet k next uh, projectile motion all the formulas at one place okay uh, nor uh, normal equation of projectile we have uh, time period formula uh, i have uh, maximum height maximum range based on this also we have seen a lot of questions range is equal velocity is equal so everything uh, some students write it u naught i prefer v naught so v naught or u naught whatever you are comfortable with but uh, the formula is uh, obviously uh, from uh, your syllabus no out of syllabus formulas are included in this uh, let me show you some of the uh, very important formula from your pu2 okay a uh, lot of formulas are there in this entire pdf okay uh, so bios about low range force okay in the low range force we have seen a, a lot of different things for example what is the expression for low range force radius of circular path you can use this formula to calculate radius of the uh, circular path uh, that is mv by qb next we have angular frequency angular frequency is omega is equal to qb by m so if you remember this it will be very very helpful for your comet k and any other preparation 
that you are uh, currently taking okay so time period of uh, uh, motion when it is moving in a circular path under the influence of a magnetic field right so everything is there we have biosavers law so this is the biosavers law uh, and also uh, wh what is the force acting on a current carrying conductor so this is a force acting on a current carrying conductor so this is also provided right so force on a current carrying conductor okay ccc current carrying conductor okay so uh, B bil you have to remember it is l cross b not b cross l this is very very important so everything is there uh, all the formulas concepts uh, equations uh, let me show one more chapter from where you see a lot of questions uh, that is nuclei atoms and nuclei so in the atoms chapter also all the gist of the chapter is given okay uh, so this is the distance of closest approach based on that last year one question came so uh, you have this formula as well so uh, distance of closest closest approach uh, is directly proportional to uh, one upon the v square so higher the velocity smaller is the distance of closest approach next we have all the bohr's atomic model formulas right uh, so here we have rn uh, n square z energy of electron okay and also de Broglie wavelength for uh, waves Hi for hydrogen this is the general formula these two formulas are general formulas and for these two for hydrogen you have to put z equals to 1 other than that for any other uh, hydrogen like atom for example uh, if they give you uh, a singly charged helium or doubly charged helium or lithium doubly charged lithium so you can use these formulas to calculate based on the atomic number okay and uh, we also have uh, velocity of electron in nth bohr, bohr orbit this is the velocity of electron in nth bohr orbit that is proportional to 1 by n uh, frequency is proportional to 1 by n cube uh, time period is proportional to n cube this is not fn this is tn okay so tn is proportional to n cube also the wavelength uh, in case of uh, 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 this is given by read box constant 1 by even though this exactly this value is not there they will provide you the value okay it will be n uh, final square minus 1 by n initial square okay uh, so you have to remember this formula as well this is the formula for wavelength based on this also a lot of questions came in comet k exam okay uh, in the nuclear chapter you have mass defect composition of uh, uh, nucleus okay z is atomic number n is a neutron number a is mass number so uh, mass number is basically plus of a plus z okay you have symbol for nucleus you have example as well uh, you have uh, this constant as well uh, here we have the uh, radius for atom uh, radius for nucleus so everything is given in this sheet in this formula uh, how to use it is up to you uh, but i have provided all the information that is uh, uh, possible for your comet k exam and there may be some small mistakes uh, might have happened while uh, typing this uh, this is a huge sheet over 100 pages are there so maybe there are one or two cases where uh, the, there is a small small mistakes so you can figure that out and mention in the comment below sir this formula may be incorrect or this formula can be better now uh, obviously it, this is not given in a very uh, compact form i have given it uh, chapter wise okay so once you uh, get this uh, pdf use it as uh, uh, much as possible and solve most questions we have given you one free mock test so use this sheet uh, to solve the questions if possible right and i hope uh, you will be uh, at a great position by tomorrow morning when you are attempting your mock test also mention in the comment below once your exam is over how was the paper how you enjoyed it was it good or it is bad okay so i'll be back with more videos in future till then bye